On 2nd September, the Enforcement Directorate arrested Naresh Goel in a money laundering case associated with an alleged fraud of Rs 538 crore at Canara Bank. Yes, the same Naresh Goel, the founder and former chairman of Jet Airways. The arrest comes after the CBI FIR was registered against Goel after Canara Bank alleged sanctioning credit limits and loans to Jet Airways Limited to the tune of 848.86 crore rupees, of which 538 crore was outstanding. It makes us think that under the leadership of Naresh Goel, once a profitable airline, Jet Airways, under the same leadership, ran out of cash and had to be grounded. But what caused the turbulence? Why did Jet Airways face shortage of funds? What went wrong for the airline and for Naresh Goel? Let's find out. But before that, please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to Money Control YouTube channel. Naresh Goel founded Jet Airways and it began its operations in 1993 and the airline was a full service carrier providing in-flight meals, luggage allowance and business class seats with expensive tickets. By 2002, it had the highest domestic market share in the Indian aviation industry. Now, in the early 2000s, low-cost carrier airlines started to operate domestically. Low-cost carrier airlines are the ones where the ticket prices and services offered are less as compared to full-service carriers. Airlines like Indigo, GoAir and SpiceJet are some examples. As time passed, the LCCs or low-cost carriers started gaining more market share. Hence, it proved to be a big headache for Jet Airways. As per a report, the LCC had a domestic market share of 60.8% in the financial year 2013 and by financial year 2020, they enjoyed a market share of 82%. Before I tell you why Naresh Goel's jet airways failed, we must understand how the airline business works. For functioning, every airline has to deal with several factors. Factor number one, airplanes. Airlines generally prefer having aeroplanes on lease rather than buying them. The cost of aircraft is enormous, thus they are taken on lease. Once the demand decreases, airlines can return the planes and reduce their fixed cost. Factor number two, jet fuel. As per a report, approximately 40% of the running cost of airlines in India comprises jet fuel. This high percentage is due to the higher tax structure in India. So if the oil prices go up, that means flight ticket prices will also go up. Third factor is fixed cost. Every airline that is operating a flight has to bear a fixed cost irrespective of the fact it is flying or not and at what capacity. Among others, the fixed costs include aircraft rents, salaries of employees, insurance costs, hangar charges and so on. It does not matter whether all seats on the flight are booked or not. The airline has to bear the fixed cost. But it also means that to reduce the fixed cost burden, among others, the airline should also fly at maximum seat utilization or book maximum seats. The next factor is capacity utilization. The percentage of filled passenger seats is called capacity utilization. The capacity utilization of low-cost carriers is usually more than of full-service carriers. If you see Jet Airways 2018-19 capacity utilization percentage, it was 83.9% in domestic operations and in international operations, it was 83.2%. The percentage was really good for a full-service carrier. This means filling seats was not a problem for Jet Airways. If you look at the profit and loss of Jet Airways from 2004 to 2019 till 2007, Jet Airways was making profit. That means, till 2007, Jet Airways was able to sell its flight tickets, manage fuel cost, fixed cost, and all the other expenses. And still, they were making a profit. But post-2007, the company was in huge loss. But why? And the answer is debt. To compete against low-cost carriers like Indigo, SpiceJet, GoFirst, Jet Airways bought a loss-making Air Sahara for Rs. 1450 crore and turned it into an LCC and renamed it Jet Light. However, this move of Naresh Goel failed to take off, as other LCCs like Indigo kept increasing their domestic market share, and Jetslight's journey turned out to be a flight to nowhere. The massive investment of 1,450 crore rupees was written off in 2015. The other big financial blunder Jet Airways did was to buy airplanes worth 10,750 crore rupees. As I said earlier, airlines prefer having aircraft on lease to reduce their fixed cost, but Jet Airways did the opposite. And do you know? What followed next? Even Naresh Goel wouldn't have thought about it. The 2008 recession. Due to the recession, the demand for air travel decreased and fuel cost increased. Thus, Jet Airways could not make profit post-2007 due to increased fuel prices and high debt. By 2013, there was lack of funds in the firm. Hence, 24% stake was sold to Etihad Airways for Rs. 2060 crore. But more was needed. Many believe that the culprit behind Jet Airways' poor condition was Naresh Goel himself. He had a single management team for Jet Airways and Jet Light. 
as per a report, there was lack of transparency in the company's decision making. Aviation analysts also blamed him for not finding a suitable investor to pump money into the company. At one point, Tata's were interested in buying a stake in Jet Airways, but the deal could not take off. Etihad Airways refused to increase its stake in the firm because Naresh Gold was piloting the company. Due to pressure from the creditors, on 25th March 2019, Naresh and his wife Anita Goel resigned from the board of Jet Airways. On 17th April 2019, Jet Airways had to shut its operations because it could not get an emergency fund of 400 crore rupees. However, in 2021, UAE businessman Muradi Lal Jalan and an asset management firm Carl Rock won the bid to revive Jet Airways. As for the resolution plan, the consortium will make a total cash infusion of 1,375 crore rupees in the airline. Jet Airways has even got the air operator certificate. However, ownership transfer has been hanging fire amid continuing differences between the lenders and the consortium.